So here's how you might want to level the lip of, say, a cup or some other object. You know, there's two methods. One is with a ruler, and so I would find my lowest point on my piece and mark it. I actually like to make an, a mark on my ruler, so it could just be a regular straight edge. Right, so I'm not actually really relying on the measurement, and I'm going to use my needle tool and hold it steady, and I want to make sure my ruler is level, not tilting. And I'm just going to make little like dots, so I'm turning my cup, making a dot, and continuing on. And you can see then I'm going to go back and connect the dots. I'm not cutting all the way through right now. It's really important that you just are getting your lines laid out. The other option would just be to find any object that is the height that you need. So I have this pin container here. And the nice thing is I can kind of hold it against this. And then I can sort of spin my piece around. I, I prefer to do it with the needle tool at a slight angle. Right now my needle tool is pointing straight in, which can kind of be tricky. So I'm going to go all the way around, and that's going to create a rather straight line. Now I want to go back and start to cut through, and I'm just gently going around. By the way, my clay is at about the leather hard stage, so you can see that it is definitely not flexing very much. It doesn't have a lot of give. That helps me keep it even. And also I've finished the bottom already, so make sure you've already done any feet or you know leveling of the bottom. If you do that later, you're going to um, change the level of this piece. So you can see after maybe two times around, I've actually finally started to cut through. And I find that's really important to do it a little at a time because it's a little more forgiving if you mess up on a slight cut compared to all the way through at one go. So now I just need to go back and clean this up. And I just, I really like these uh, kind of trimmed off gift cards or credit cards or whatever. And I'm just gonna scrape down the edges. I use my finger to smooth away any crumbs. And I like to hold this at an angle um, and because I don't really want it to be as thick on the edges. I want to kind of bevel it, and so I do that by making sure that I'm supporting that outside. If I don't support the outside and I scrape um, and put pressure, I might crack the rim. And as you can see now, I'm just using my fingers to compress and smooth. There's a lot of just ongoing kind of back and forth work here. You can work on the outside now, and that's how I'm going to level my piece.